We need to give an introduction about ourselves. So I will start with the uh, seminar about uh, giving a small intro about me. So about me. So my name is Sayed Sano. I am from Madurai, Tamil Nadu, India. So I am presently a Microsoft MVP, Code Project MVP, as well as a CSAP Corner MVP. So CSAP Corner and Code Project are the international community where we do contribute with our articles and blogs, as well as support in forums for the computer science students, as well as for the software engineers. So I am a three-time MVP, Microsoft MVP, as well as four-time MVP for the CSAP Corner and the Code Project communities. So I have a 12 plus years of experience in the software. So presently I am working in Seoul, South Korea. So this is all about me. So I don't want to waste uh, more time. So we will start with the seminar. So before starting, we will see what we will be uh, studying in this seminar. So in Agenda, we will be seeing what is machine learning and types of machine learning. So machine learning in past and present, as well as we will be seeing what is artificial intelligence. So what is data science? and difference between artificial intelligence and the machine learning. So how machine learning is useful for the researchers? So how can we use that machine learning for our day-to-day -day life as well as in the research field? So we also see what are the programming language that is available for developing the working with the machine learning. So uh, this is like not more uh, about the technical. So uh, because here we have uh, more like academic papers. So this will be like an introduction part and we will be seeing what will be the machine learning and all those things. So basic things what we need to be uh, know and understand about machine learning, we will be covered in this seminar topic. So as well as we have a small demo program. So using the Microsoft uh, uh, software called as the ML.NET, which is called as the Microsoft Machine Learning.NET. So we, will, we also have a simple demo programming for the machine learning. So we will see all just one by one. So before starting uh, machine learning here, so what is machine learning? So machine learning is nothing but a concept of we train the machines to produce the result by themselves. So now for example, when we are a ch children or when we are in the infant to teach stage, we used to train by our parents as well as by our uh, neighbors or by the teachers. So the kids will be trained by the parents, teachers and the neighbors. So how we train? Now for example, if a baby born, if the she is like after 6 months or 8 months, we start to teach the baby kids. We start to teach the kids by, we tell that this is apple. So by we show, we show some pictures to the kids and we show them and this is the apple. As well as we show, sometimes we will be uh, having a real apple and we show to the kids and we tell them as this is apple. So every time when we tell that the kid's brain will be used to know that so this is apple. So apple set will be like this and apple will be in red color and we have like a, a top side we have like a leaf and something like that. So when the kids see the shape or color of the uh, object the kid's brain will automatically tell to the kids as this is apple. So that is training. So training the parents and the teachers we are giving trainings to the kids and the kids will be trained to know the objects and they will whenever they see the object they will immediately tell this is apple so that is what example we will also teach the language in language we will be teaching by the some uh, our uh, any language like our tamil language or english or hindi whatever we teach the language to the kids and the kids they will observe every whenever we tell we repeatedly tell them we tell a a a, we repeatedly tell them and we show the object as A will be like this and A will be like this. So by the kid, uh, kids whenever see that and observe the hearing, the brain will be trained and the brain will be trained and they easily observe what it is, the object it is. So same like that training methodology, we used to train for the machines. Uh, so uh, machine learning is nothing but a concept as we train the machines to behave like a human. So now here we have an example here. So here we can see that, so same like our uh, human brain, the machines also get trained. We show the machines, we teach the machines to, uh, example, the apple with the image and we also have a texture and uh, how it will be like this, this size and this width and uh, like this and also that we show the images and all to the uh, machines. So same like this concept, so, some, if anybody know about the neural network, 
So neural network is the concept of our brain. So brain, how our brain is get trained. So that is the concept as a neural network. That neural network concept was being used in machine learning to train the systems. Okay. So again, we can see that here uh, in the second image.
So by the sensor for the particular surroundings, if there is some other objects is moving or coming, the call will be automatically stopped. This one case and another case will be the call will be moving by the navigation. So that by navigation the call will be moving in the, moving in the right direction. So here we can see that next picture we can see that the call has been using the self driving. So here we, it uses the navigation. Also by navigation it will turn automatically right side or left side and the car again will be using the sensors to find the nearby objects and all. So the signal everything will be covered in the navigation part. So if there is a signal the car will be automatically stopped and if there is some uh, car behind or in back side it will be stopped automatically by the distance and the speed and all. So in self driving also machine learning concept has been used. And apart from that, in various uh, industries, the machine learning has been used. Now we can see that in manufacturing and in the retail, in the retail, in the manufacturing, in the healthcare, in the travel and hospitality, and in the financial services, and in the other industries as well, the machine language has been now widely using at all. So machine learning in the past and in the present. So in 1950, the initially they started to test whether the uh, machines have the intelligence same like our human brain. So they uh, started the test from the 1950 and in the 1952, they first created a program to test the computer machines as they can win a chess game like that. So winning a chess game is same like our human brain. So we, the, we can see that uh, in mobile at all, there will be a, 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 a uh, like a mobile will be game, uh, programmer will program will be playing the chess as well as our team as a we will be playing. So we will see who will be the winner. So for that we train the system to understand our the uh, game rules and all. Depend on that it will uh, make a game play. So in 1957 the neural network concept as I told that same like our human brain uh, with the analyze to study and implement at the machine learning concept for the systems as well. And in 1967, the nearest neighbor. Nearest neighbor means now, example, we can see that the Uber. In Uber, we check for a taxi which is nearest to us, and we also, if we want to go from this place to that place, we will check for the taxi, fare, and all those things. For this concept as well, they have been using the machine learning in the Uber also as well. And also, the neighbor map and all those things, the machine learning concept has been used. In. And in 1979, the first robotic, moving robotic was been developed in 1969. And in the 1981, logic based training. So same like our human brain, the computer itself, uh, they, we don't need to create a separate program for the computer. Computer itself by the data, it will analyze, analyze and it will produce the result. And in the 1985, the speech recognition has been introduced. Now we can see that in our uh, iPhone we have a Siri or in the Samsung we have a Bixby. So whenever you open a hi, if we tell our name, the phone or the uh, computer, it will automatically analyze the, our uh, speech recognition and it will open our uh, Windows system, something like that. So same concept has been introduced in the uh, 1985. So after that, the KDA, same like our uh, knowledge, the computer itself to analyze the data and to produce the result. That kind of thing was been introduced in the 1990. And in 2006, the deep learning has been introduced. Uh, deep learning is the, again the concept as first the artificial intelligence was been introduced. After that, machine learning was been introduced. From the machine learning, now deep learning has been introduced. Again, deep learning is now with the more images like and videos and audios, all those things. The machine learning or concept has been introduced in the uh, 2006. So now present in wide variety area of varieties of uh, industries, the machine learning has been used and implemented. And also now many uh, programming language that is supporting to uh, developing the machine learning concept. So advantages and disadvantages of machine learning. So now we see, we know that, many people we know that the PayPal, the PayPal is to automatically wire transfer uh, for, from anywhere to any place like that. 
So in PayPal, uh, there is uh, some fraud detection will be happening. So now what they are doing is, they have implemented the machine learning concept in the PayPal itself. So what they will do is, they will check for our the user login and the frequently, uh, if, if I am a user, I am using the PayPal means, if I am logging means, it will store the, the IP address and location, all the routers. So every time I will be logging, mostly I will be logging from the same system or by in the nearest area near to me. So if suppose the people is logging from some other place, uh, some, some other things like that, and they are using our code, at that case, the warning or message will be sent to the, immediately to the members. So by this, the fraud will be detected and it will be stopped. So for that, the machine learning has been used in the PayPal system as well. So apart from that, uh, machine learning, it is uh, advantages is uh, it can be used in the wide applications. For many applications in industries, the machine learning concept has been used. And also for advertisement. For advertisement, like uh, automatically make advertisement and sending all those things. The advertisement, uh, in advertisement also it has been used. And also in the automation of tasks. So if we have some scheduled tasks like that, we can make it as an automation and it will be doing the routine work automatically by the machines or by the systems. And also by for using in the quality and large and complex data. So machine learning concept can be used. And disadvantages again uh, for the large data, it is very hard to find the errors and all. So this is the main disadvantages. And for training the machines, it takes some large time. And time consuming is the main thing in the uh, machine learning also. So these are all the advantages and disadvantages. So types of machine learning. So this is the for machine learning, uh, the main thing is types and the algorithm. So for the machine learning, we will be having the three types. And in three types, we will be ha having the different kinds of algorithms. So for machine learning, we don't need to have separate program. We don't need to develop the separate program. There is some set of algorithms. So using that algorithm, the machine learning concept was being implemented in different programming languages. So types we have like a, a supervised learning and unsupervised learning, and we have a reinforced learning. So these are all the three types so we have in machine learning subject. And in these three types, first one is for the machines, we get the labeled input and we get the desired output. We take we teach the machines by giving some labeled input. And also we tell teach the computer how the output should be like this. So by this the machine will know the input as well as the output. And for the uh, unsupervised machine learning, the machines will not have, we will be having the input, design input, but the output, for the output will, we will not have, we will not produce any, or uh, we will not give any output to the machines. So machines itself automatically learn and produce a result to us. And next one we have the reinforced model. Reinforced learning, it is for like a uh, controlling that. Now example I told the self-driving car. So self-driving car, the machine itself identify nearby objects and it will stop and do all the access. So that is like a control. So this will be coming into the reinforced model. So now example here we can see that supervised, unsupervised and semi-supervised learning and reinforced learning. So these are the four types. This, this is the in machine learning concept, this four thing is important. Under this we have the algorithms. So the first one is supervised learning. We have the algorithm called regression and classification. So this is algorithm which predefined, already defined. Okay. So for regression algorithm, for housing price, housing price prediction. So now example, we can say that uh, I am staying in Itaewon area. So in Itaewon area, the, I want to find some house in this street and uh, I want to find the house in this street with two bedroom and also with this facility I want to search. So we will be doing searching in online. So if we use the machine learning, what we do is we will give the lot of data to the machine, uh, to the systems. We give all the data in this area, the the house price for two room, one room, and in first floor uh, this price, in second floor this price. We give lot of data to the system machines. So when we do searching, so in uh, I take one third street, 
I got a house for a double bedroom in the second floor. If I uh, if I search by that, the using the machine learning concept for you from the data, the message will be search for us and it will produce the results to our our needed house. So we will get the results. Now example we are is we are searching in the Google. So Google search is same concept. Again they have the machine learning concept. They give the lot of data. Whenever we do search. It will search for us and it will produce the relevant data to our information as an information. So in this uh, in this kind of searching, they are using the type as a supervised learning and also they are using the algorithm as the regression algorithm. So same like that we have classification also. Classification algorithm we use for the medical imaging, like medical image like X-ray and scan all those things they are using this one. And in unsupervised learning, we have a clustering and association. So in clustering, we have the customer segmentation. Customer segmentation means we give lot of data, we give all the customer data to the system, and we segment the customers by their age, by their sex, and the date of birth, and all this information. We separate the uh, customers, and we, uh, we will produce the result. So for the uh, easy advertisement and all, all those things. And apart from that, we have the association for market analysis. And in semi-supervised learning, we have the classification and clustering. So this is for the GPS navigation and all those things. As well, we have the, in the reinforced learning, we have the classification and control. In reinforced learning, as I told, the self-driving core. So self-driving core is the example for the reinforced model. So next one is uh, artificial intelligence. So as I told that first artificial intelligence was introduced from 1950, and after the artificial intelligence, the machine learning was introduced, and now we have the deep learning concept. So artificial intelligence now again it has been using the wide range of uh, industries. Now artificial intelligence was been using in the philosophy, in the computer science, in physiology, in neuron science, in biology, math, and in sociology. In all this area, now artificial intelligence has been used. Again, it is same like the machine learning. What I give the input, uh, same like that. We have uh, different images, and we give as the input. And here, same like our neural uh, network concept, it will find the object and it will produce the result as the text here. So again, in artificial intelligence, we have all this like deep learning, machine learning, and uh, natural languages, and uh, speech, and all those things. In artificial intelligence, the main example we can sell again, we can sell is the uh, iPhone Siri. So I, iPhone Siri, we will be talk and we ask the uh, uh, Siri to search for some, some result for us. Okay. Same like that, uh, we will be having if we uh, if I do uh, English language, English language, I can only talk, but I don't know how to write or read. So if I talk that, the computer will be automatically. Uh, if I uh, if I say uh, hi, how are you all? The computer will get the input and it will type in as the hi, how are you all? So in this we concept we can we tell it as the speech to text and same like that text to speech also there text to speech. Now if I type hi, how are you all? If I type that the computer will get the text as the input and it will produce the result as the voice message. Okay, so this concept will be come in the artificial intelligence. And apart from that, in Facebook and all, we can see that the tag friends they will be using the imaging. So imaging, if we have a friends, if we have a friends this, and if we have, if we post some images, the image from that images, the uh, Facebook it will be automatically detect our friends who are all in the friends list, and it will ask us or ask them to tag their names. So in that tagging also, the machine learning concept has been used it using this uh, artificial intelligence. So in artificial intelligence, the uh, four more concepts are there. One is listen, and next one is the speech, and next one is the searching, and next one we have is the translation. So this all really comes under the uh, artificial intelligence. So next one we have is the data science. So data science also for the research people, the data science also very very important mandatory one. So in data science, it is a mixture of the mathematics, statistics, machine learning, and computer software, and also the domain-based knowledge. So these are all the mixture we will be using to generate the uh, data science as well. Okay. 
So again, this is the same concept, same like our machine learning as well. So difference between the machine learning and the artificial intelligence. So as I told that first, uh, from 1950 to 1970, artificial intelligence was being introduced and was been using. So after that, from 1982 to 2010, the machine learning concept has been introduced and using. And now, for more, we are using the deep learning. So deep learning is the advanced version of the machine learning and artificial intelligence. So here, in artificial intelligence, in machine learning, we have a concept as the artificial intelligence. So same in deep learning, we have both artificial intelligence as well as the machine learning. So here, so artificial intelligence is the study. It's a study of how to train the machines. But in machine learning, we use the artificial intelligence as an application to develop the machine learning concept. So that is the main uh, difference between the artificial intelligence as well and machine learning. So that is, that is only one difference. So artificial intelligence, we used to study how to develop the machines to understand and produce the result. But in machine learning, we do how uh, we use the artificial intelligence to develop the machines to study and produce the result by themselves. So how machine learning is useful to researchers? So now example again, uh, the, everything is based on the data. How, how much data we give to the system, the state data will be studied and analyzed by the machines and it will produce the results. So now example in biotechnology and all those things, we, have, we will be having a lot of bio data. So that bio data we will be given to the machines to train themselves and it will, uh, based on the data and all, it using, using the types and algorithm, we will be getting the drug for we will be using for the drug development and also we will be using for the medical therapy also we will be using for the pharmacies so in all these fields the researchers are using the machine learning concept to produce the results apart from that and nowadays in agriculture and all the uh, students related to the agriculture and all they are developing for the smart farming so smart farming means now if the, we have a field automatically to uh, make a uh, water supply to the field if the depend on the some time framework and something like that and also automatically we use a uh, robot to uh, produce the uh, urea and all those things in, in our farming and all those things so here we use in smart farming nowadays the machine learning concept has been mostly used and in the healthcare in healthcare like uh, like uh, AIDS disease or for the Parkinson disease, they are all using the, to analyze and to predict the data of uh, results, they are using the machine learning concepts. So in health sector also, the machine learning has been widely used and for many researchers they are using that. Samsung and Google also using the research for the developing the machine learning for the blindness, blindness and also for the cancer treatment and all those things they are using that one. So again, uh, in uh, uh, the machine learning in research field, so it is used in the science. So uh, as I told that we have uh, two main uh, types of machine learning, one is unsupervised and supervised. And we have algorithm. So like clustering, these are all algorithms we use for the, in the machine learning. So now example, uh, in unsupervised model using the clustering algorithm for the, uh, identify the nanomaterials and all those cure concepts. We, for nanomaterial uh, detection and for the annotation uh, things and also to generate a mass map uh, in uh, all those things and also to identify the similar images in the x-rays and to identify the cosmological mass maps in very wide variety of uh, wide variety of science we are be using this machine learning as well So the programming language, so what are the programming language we are using in the machine learning? So this is the fourth main programming language we are using for the machine learning. So one day we call it as the R programming language and next one we call it as the Python and next one we have the Octave and next one we are called as the MATLAB. So these are the four basic programming which have been using for machine learning. Okay, so the drawback in uh, MATLAB is, MATLAB is very easy and uh, 
uh, we don't need to have a programming knowledge to work with the MATLAB, also with uh, Octa. These two no need to have a basic programming language. So uh, with some small introduction, we can start work on that for the machine learning. But the problem is the MATLAB is paid version. We need to pay for the license. Okay, and uh, Octo is uh, uh, it has a very few uh, community. So getting the support, it is very hard in the Octo. And apart from that, we have our program languages and uh, Python. This two programming language is open source. Open source means it is free. We can just download and we can work on that. Uh, MATLAB is available for three versions. Free one? Yeah, one month it seems. So we can use it? No, the, yeah, the pre you are getting one month, right? Yeah, one that month. That is only like a trial, right? It's not a trial, it's a complete version they are giving. Right? For one month? Yeah, for one month. After one month, how? After one month, you have to uninstall and reinstall. That's it. Mm -hmm. uh, no, 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 that is not good for uh, development. Uh, for studying is okay, for study learning, but okay. for the development or uh, for if you want to make a produce a result and all those things, yeah. again you need to buy. If it is a, it has a license, we need to buy that. But Octave is uh, good, it's a Linux version, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, Octave is good, Octave is good as well. But the Octave, as I told that we need to have the, uh, the community is very less. If we need some help or support, uh, it is very hard. That, that only is the drawback. If you know, it will be easy. No means if you are knowing the operating system side or I don't know if you know the program programming pro programming pro programming okay. yeah yeah if you know the programming it is good but anyway if we know the programming also the machine learning concept is new so we need to get some uh, uh, make some different kind of program as well so in that state if we get stuck so whom do we contact or whom from whom we get the support so that is what I mean. and next one our programming and Python also do the same. All programming using many statistical and mathematical functions also. Uh, the difference between the R programming and Python is now in Python we use the concept that called as the object oriented programming, we tell it as the. So it is, uh, if we are a programmer, it is a little bit easy to analyze and we work on that. If they are not a programmer, it is a little hard. But uh, learning is uh, caring, so it will not hard to be learn anything. If we, uh, we, if we need to work with machine learning, then it will be good as well. So apart from these languages, uh, uh, Java, C++ also supporting to work with uh, machine learning. But as a, for a programmer, it is good. For the research people, it is really hard. And apart from that, uh, Microsoft also now introduced the ML.NET, that is a machine learning.NET. So it is a preview. Preview means it is not open for public yet. It is for in like in the experimental phase. They introduced the machine learning.net in March 2018. Okay, so it is again open source. It is also open source. Open source means anyone can download and work on that. We don't need to pay anything for that. So uh, Microsoft introduced that, and also Microsoft has like a community services. So this is again a set of API. API means they have predefined application. We just use that to develop this. So in uh, Microsoft Cognitive Services, we have a visual, speech, uh, language, knowledge and search, uh, five different kind. So in visual means, now I, I told that, uh, in Facebook, we will be having a photo, detect the photo, uh, uh, member uh, uh, head and like that, and to tag their photos like that. We can use this visual API, it is again an API. The API means they will be already uh, develop code for that. They have a function, we just need to use that and to for our uh, purpose. That's all. It will be easy. For the programmers, it will be a little bit easy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it will be easy. And how about SAS here? SAS? SAS, SAS also is okay. Which is to start with SAS or with R? To start with, we have to start with R or with SAS? I think uh, R programming is much better. R, SAS and then Python? Yes, yes, yes. R and Python is good. Many people now they are using with Python. Many people they are using with Python only. Uh, as I told, it has an uh, object to render programming also. So Python is little bit good. So in that case, SAS is not mandatory for any of these applications. Yes, yes. And uh, for, uh, as I told that, uh, like speech, again, text to do speech and speech to text, all these uh, uh, functions has been added here. And language, language means now translates and you can see the Google Translate and all those things. That also using the machine learning concept over there. 
Now, if we type something in uh, English, it will automatically type in Tamil. Or uh, for, for translation and all those things, we use it has a set of API. We have an API. Also, we have a knowledge uh, knowledge thing. And for search, same with the Google search and all those things, the Microsoft has a predefined API as well. So, I will be finishing two more slides. <laughs> So here, uh, Microsoft again, as I told that artificial uh, for uh, using the artificial intelligence, uh, we use the cognitive services like uh, the vision, speech, and all those things. We use the in uh, Microsoft also has a Azure. We tell it as Azure. In Azure, we have they have a, Azure again. It is a paid one. We need a paid one. So we have the cognitive services as well as we can develop the face recognition and all those things. And uh, Microsoft now introduced the ML.NET, that is machine learning.NET. So as I told, it is a preview version now. Uh, again, if it is a preview, still we can download. Still we can download and use that. Yeah, you have? Okay. So preview version, still we can download and uh, work on that. So it is again open source and it is cross platform. Cross platform means, as I told, uh, the Octo, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. So same like that. Now for Microsoft, we can use to develop with uh, this Mac OS as well as Windows as well as Linux and multiple operating system we can use that. So before uh, 2016 something like that, uh, Microsoft we can develop only for the Windows operating system. But now they are changing. Uh, we can also work with uh, Linux and Mac OS as well. Uh, using for this ML document also we can work on that. So I have made a program, I thought to give a demo, but uh, uh, here I don't have a facility. So again, I have made a screenshot of that. So what we do is, I, I this program output is using the ML.NET, Microsoft uh, Machine Language Learning Program, I have developed this. So this is the output I have made. So I will do, I will tell what, what I have is. So in Microsoft, uh, using Microsoft Machine Learning.NET, I, as I told that, we have a three types. Supervised and unsupervised, semi supervised. So, here for this program, we use the supervised learning and algorithm. I said regression, uh, clustering, classification, we have many kinds of algorithm. So, here we have used the regression algorithm. So, regression algorithm I told as an example for uh, finding the house. So, for finding the house, we use the regression algorithm. So, here what we do is to predict the item stock, how many quantity will be having in future, something like that, to predict that we develop this program. So here first we give the data and we do the training. So for machine learning, uh, three things is important. First is data. We need to give huge number of data here. And next one, we need to train the machines to understand and analyze what it has. And it will predict and display the result. So this uh, the four point is important here. So first we give the data. We train the system, we train the computer to analyze the data and we need to evaluate the model and we produce the predict result and we display the output. So here this is the example data. So here we have a data. We have an example, this is to find the stock quantity. To find the stock quantity, here we have the item ID, uh, item, now example item 001. Item 001 is now example we can say Colgate paste, okay, Colgate paste. So, uh, in this location, okay, I am having a factory, example, Colgate Paste. In this location, I have uh, 100 quantity uh, was being came, come into my factory and uh, 10 quantity I sold out, example, 10 quantity I sold out and uh, uh, item type is like uh, uh, in or out, like that and balance quantity, how many stock quantity I have. So, like same like this, I give lot of data here like minimum 100, more than 100 data will be given to the uh, system. So system will be giving two data, one is to train and one is to for the testing. So we give two data. So once we give these two data, what we give is, we need to train the model uh, for producing the result. So for that, uh, predicting the result, we give this input. Here we give the input as the item ID and the location code and we give the item uh, uh, quantity, in quantity, out quantity, we all give this example data here and here we can see that total stock quantity I gave as zero okay so this is important here total stock quantity I gave as zero here which means now we train the model 
So this uh, system will automatically analyze the data and depend on this input, it will tell us future how many stock quantity will be with us. Okay, so here we have given as a 0, 0 and once we run the program, so it will be displaying the predicted stock quantity is 90 here and the actual quantity is 90 here. So here this is the input for that. For this item, the stock quantity is, total stock quantity is 90. So this result was being predicted result was being the machine automatically train and it will uh, calculate, evaluate and it produce the result and it will be as the prediction result. This result was being given by the machine. We don't write any program for this. Using this model uh, algorithm, it will automatically train and it will produce the result. So same like that, I have given one more input over here. So if you want to see the program, you can tell me. I will show that I have in my notebook here. And also uh, for this one, we will be having the RMS and R square. So if this, uh, for every uh, prediction result, we will be having these two. If the result is within one, it means the prediction is more uh, good. If it is less than zero one, very minute, then the prediction is more good like that. So this is a sample demo. And uh, and then, so if you have any questions, uh, you can ask me. The same program can be done through R also. Yes, yes. But which is the most advantageous? ML.NET or R? ML.NET is again it is recently introduced, and uh, for the programmers' perspective, it will be good. And for the researchers, I can uh, think uh, R and. Uh, Yes, yes, yes. What kind of uh, beginners to start with, what kind of uh, uh, courses you will be suggesting? So for the beginners, I will suggest uh, Python is the best. Python. So what is the background?